not the shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. Grandpa! No! Be careful! Grandpa, stop! Today we were having fun helping Mum with her latest hobby, making collages. We were making a picture of Sunny Sam's beach when suddenly we heard... Watch. Who could that be? Mum went to answer the telephone. Beach. Hello? And who was it? Mr Mentor. It was Mr Mentor. Mr Mentor, the inventor, lives in the lighthouse in Sunny Sam's. He is always coming up with really crazy inventions. Sometimes Grandpa helps Mr. Mentor make his inventions work. Of course, Mr. Mentor doesn't know about this. He thinks he invents all his amazing inventions by himself. Today, Mum had some very strange news about Mr. Mentor. He's giving up inventing. What? Mr. Mentor's giving up inventing, but he can't. It's unthinkable. Well, he, he says he wants to try something new. He's he, coming over to see us now to see if we can help. But everyone in Sunny Sands loves Mr Mentor's inventions. I know, Jemima, but he doesn't want to talk about them. He's had enough of inventing. We're not even to say the word invention. That's right. Today, there was to be no mention of an invention. Anyway, back to the collage. I've just had an idea for the sun rays. Petals! <laughs> so, Mum went off to the garden to find petals. Well, that news has given me a bit of a shock. I think I'd better go and have a little lie down. I knew what Grandpa was thinking. Mr Mentor can't give up inventing. He's a wonderful inventor, especially when I help him. We've got to make him change his mind, Jason. And I've got a feeling the best way of doing that is by me being small. Not a shrinking cup, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. You know what happens when Grandpa shrinks. He can get into my toy car and use his magic to make it go. He can chuff around in my Sunny Sam's train. He can even fly my toy plane around the room. Today, he jumped onto the sofa and then onto the shelves. Just then, the doorbell rang. I know who it is. Grandpa quickly hid. Mr Mentor. Yes, it's me, Mr Mentor, not the inventor. Isn't it Wonder Bubble? Actually, we don't think it's Wonder Bubble at all. But I need a change. I'm tired of inventing. I want a fabidiculous new job. I was rather hoping you could think of one for me. I know. How about being a gardener? You can try it out in our garden. See if you like it. How brilliant! I'd love to be a gardener. What do I have to do? Um. Oh, right. So Jemima took Mr. Mentor out to the garden, and Grandpa jumped onto the sofa. <sighs> Mr. Mentor is an inventor, not a gardener. But how are we going to make him see that, Grandpa? I know. I'll invent something, but Mr. Mentor will think he's invented it. That way he'll see that inventing is much more fun than gardening. Now, this is what we'll do. While Mum and Jemima were showing Mr. Mentor how to plant seeds, Grandpa ran out into the garden and put his plan into action. I'll leave you to it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to give the seeds a drink of water. Grandpa stood behind the watering can and carefully lifted it up. Mr. Mentor was bound to be pleased with his new invention. <gasps> oh, no, no, no! I've accidentally invented a whizzy woodlesome wonder waterer! Oh, I don't want to be an inventor! Oh. <laughs> Mr. Mentor, come back! I had to talk to Grandpa. I'm afraid that plan didn't work, Grandpa. 
The invention wasn't spectacular enough, that's why. I've got to come up with something better. Something that will persuade him that inventing is the best thing he can do. How about a talking invention? Mr. Mentor loves it when you make his inventions talk. You've got it, Jason. I can't be a gardener if I'm going to accidentally invent gardening equipment. I want a different job. A job where I can't invent anything. I went to find Mr. Mentor and Grandpa followed. Okay. How about being a dog trainer? You can practice with Wolfie. How fabidiculous. I'd love to be a dog trainer. What do I have to do? So, Jemima told Wolfie to fetch his fluffy slipper. Wolfie, fetch! And sure enough, Wolfie fetched it. Spectacular. Oh, let me have a go. <clears throat> Wolfie, come here. Oh, oh just a Oh, yes. Now, <clears throat> Wolfie, sit. Look. Now, Wolfie, mm, roll over. Oh, look at him, look at him. Oh, splendid. Now, it was time for Grandpa to put his next plan into action. While nobody was looking, he crawled into the toe of the fluffy slipper. Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful? I could get up and it'd be fabulous. Oh, no more inventing for me. I'm going to be a dog trainer and train all the dogs in Sunny Sands. <laughs> I soon found out what Grandpa's plan was. Wolfie? Fetch your lead. So Wolfie fetched his lead. Oh, no, no, no. It's happened again. I've accidentally invented a super lipper talking slipper. Mr. Mentor oh. hurled the slipper across the room. This was a disaster. Well, you all love your invention. The bad news was that Grandpa's plan had failed again. But the good news was that he hadn't hurt himself. I really tried my best with that invention. I really thought Mr. Mentor would like it. Perhaps you could bring something to life. Mr. Mentor loves those kind of inventions. You're right, he does. But in order to do that, we're going to have to get Mum and Jemima out of the way. Now, this is what we'll do. Oh, I can't be a dog trainer if I'm going to invent talking slippers. It's unbearable. Excuse me, Mr. Mentor, but you're sitting on a beach hut. Uh, what? Uh, what? Beach hut. <laughs> While nobody was looking, Grandpa ran into the kitchen and hid behind a table leg. And then I came in with Wolfie. I'm afraid the super lipper talking slipper has made Wolfie think he's going to get a walk. Oh, I'm so sorry. My fault entirely. OK, Wolfie. Just a quick one. Anyone else want to come? I will. I'll stay here with Mr Mentor. I've got an idea for something he can do for a job. Best of luck. You're going to need it. I was thinking you could be an artist. Oh, now that's your most brilliant idea yet. I'd love to be an artist, but what do I have to do? Well, you could start by making a collage like we've all been doing. Fantastic! Oh, let's have a look in here. Yeah. Mr. Mentor started choosing bits and bobs. Well, I took the Sunny Sands beach picture off the easel. Now, what shall I make a picture of? So now I had to tell Mr. Mentor what Grandpa had told me to say. How about making a magic kingdom? With fairies and pixies and old wizards. Yes, definitely a wizard with a long white beard. A wizard? How wizzy woodlesome. Now, let's have a look in here and see what we've got. Oh, and this piece of purple will be perfect for the wizard's gown. And it wasn't long before Mr. Mentor had created this. I have to admit, this is quite spectacular. Now, I had to get Mr. Mentor out of the way for a few moments. How about using some real flower petals for the flowers? Like the ones Mum used for the sun rays. They're in the garden. Fabidiculous. Being an artist is much easier than being an inv... Uh, a you-know-what. Quickly, Jason, now's your chance. You know what to do. OK, Grandpa. So, Grandpa started to climb up the easel. Mr Mentor picked some flower petals and then came back into the kitchen. He was just about to stick a petal on the picture when suddenly he heard... Ahem, ahem. Ah! <gasps> this time, Grandpa had gone too far. Oh, no, no, I've gone and done it again. I've invented Mr Mentor's magical moving masterpiece. Oh, why, oh, why can't I stop inventing things? Because you are a born inventor, that's why. No matter what other job you try to do, you will always keep inventing. No point in trying to fight it, Mr. Mentor. You are an inventor. 
Mr. Mentor, the most remarkable inventor of them all. Really? Oh dear, you're making me go all pink. You know, Jason, this wise old wizard is right. I am a born inventor, and an inventor I must stay. That is great news, Mr. Mentor. Grandpa's plan had worked. Please keep my inventions as a thank you present. You've been absolutely marvelous. Now, I must get back to the lighthouse. I've just had lots of ideas for new inventions, and I must go and invent them before they invent themselves. <laughs> Best flag. Oh, oh, say hello to Grandpa for me, will you? So sorry I missed him. Bye. Bye. And with that, Mr. Mentor ran out of the door and back to the lighthouse. Grandpa whipped off his beard, jumped down from the easel, took off his shrinking cap, and came back to his normal size. Oh, that was hard work, Jason. But we got there in the end. Mr. Mentor, the inventor, is here to stay, and it's all thanks to our teamwork. Yes, Grandpa. Teamwork. <laughs> A little later, Mum, Jemima, and Wolfie came back. Oh, Grandpa, you're up and about. Where's Mr. Mentor? He's gone home. He decided to go back to being an inventor after all. Oh, I'm so pleased. I must show you his super liver talking slipper, Grandpa. It can train dogs. What? Like this? Wolfie, in your basket. <laughs> yes, Grandpa. Anyone would think you'd invented it yourself. <laughs>